Hey Pisces and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly for December 1st through the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do apologize for the delay. Um, things have just been crazy hectic around here and uh, so I do apologize. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, the first card I'm going to pull is the overall outlook of your reading and there it is. Reconciliation. Somebody from your past is returning to your life. The bottom of your deck is to give your relationship a chance when this person returns. Beautiful way to start out a reading. Let's see what you have. Three cards for Pisces, please. What messages do they need to know for their best and greatest good? Thank you. All right. You have the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Two of Swords, dealing with an air sign or um, just a lot of inner conflict within yourself. Uh, a lot of thoughts swirling around in your head. All right. And who is Pisces dealing with? What is their energy, please? First card out, they have the Eight of Cups. Thank you. All right. They have the King of Wands and the Chariot. This is the Celtic Tarot. If anybody is curious on what deck I am using. Okay. So um, Pisces, with this card, um, I feel that you are, um, your thoughts are, how do I want to put this? They are, um, just ruminating in your head like you can't let them go it's time to let go of these um these hurts that you are continuously thinking about um because it is um trying to sabotage your current um state of mind your current emotional um well-being so it's time to to move on it's time to move uh away from that past hurt why the seven swords here for pisces Thank you. Yeah, the King of Swords. It's time to cut away all the bullshit of the past. It's time to just draw the definitive line that that's the past. I am not returning to that. Um, I am going to take my six swords, get in my boat, and row on out of here. Um, it, it's a conscious choice to uh, heal from the past, to put away all the hurt and heal from that and move forward with it. And when you do, you will come out of this cloud of confusion. You will be given this new beginning full of positive thinking, full of promise for the future, and for a solid foundation of trust to be built on. Um, why is the Ace of Swords here for Pisces? Oops. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So um, you are going to get this new beginning with this person. You're no longer going to be in that single energy. And they're going to come back to you with the truth. They're going to come back um, and offer this new clarity to you. The universe is going to show this to you um, very shortly, within the next four to five days. Oh, nice. You have the Two of Swords. So... Um, you're just kind of sitting pretty, uh, in this deck, it's a little different. She's not blindfolded. She knows she has a choice to make. Um, and she's just sitting there taking her time, deciding what it is that she wants to do moving forward. Um, she knows she has options, but she wants to make sure that what she's doing is the correct action to take. Um, you're not going in it fool heartedly. Um, and it's being clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords and Reconciliation. Beautiful. Um, you just want to take whatever path and make whatever decision that's going to bring you the most prosperity and abundance in your spirituality, your finances, your love life. Just you are factoring in everything. And uh, the universe is, gonna, is going to reward you well. Um, with the decision that you choose. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Thank you. 
Um, your person has the Eight of Cups, so they're needing to leave an emotionally draining situation. They're kind of hesitant because um, this uh, person has been a part of their life for a while. Uh, they've emotionally invested a lot into this relationship. Even though they know they want to leave, they're just not quite sure. There's a little bit of hesitancy there, but they are choosing to move forward with the Two of Swords in reverse. The swords are on the ground and a choice has been made. They are choosing to walk away person and move into a more spiritually guided path of life for themselves. Um, there is going to be a pause here uh, because there is some healing that, he ne that they need to do. Um, so they are taking a step back and just really taking everything in and, um, you know, letting that alchemy, letting that uh, balance, just they're letting themselves heal in a natural way. Amazing. Because you don't want them coming back towards you unhealed anyways, because it's just going to cause problems and they're going to leave again. And they realize this. Uh, their next card out is the King of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. You could be dealing with a uh, Cancer, um, Aries, any air sign. Really, you got everybody here. But um, the King of Wands comes in right under your Ace of Swords. So this person is going to come in um, very well balanced by the time that they offer this reconciliation to you. They're passionate about you. They love you. They care about you. They want a family with you. They are a loving and nurturing person that is driven by desire. And they desire to have a relationship with you. Why is the King of Wands here? What does Pisces need to know about the King of Wands? Thank you. Yeah. So they are leaving a situation that was no longer serving them. They are trying to restore the balance in their life again. They're trying to get this um, dealt with. Their karma, they're trying to um, deal with so that they can be balanced in love and life. And not only that, but offer you a balanced relationship, offer you something real, something fair, an equal give and take to each other, um, which is amazing. Once they find that balance, once they uh, get to this step, they are moving towards you very quickly, very fast. And the momentum is only gaining. Why is the chariot here? They've been through a battle. They've been, oh my goodness, the ace of cups. Okay. So they're leaving a toxic situation. They're leaving a bad relationship. They've been through hell. The chariot is escaping a time of turmoil, a time of um, hardship. This was not easy for them to escape this relationship. It was not easy for them to escape their toxic thoughts. Um, this has been a battle for them. But what the, is beautiful about it is they have won. They have, they have escaped it. And they are moving towards you, their ace of cups. They are moving towards love and emotional fulfillment, and they're going to offer you the spiritual connection that is out of this world. So um, just be patient. This reconciliation is on its way, Pisces. Amazing for you guys. Um, the Ace of Cups right under the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, what better beginning is that? What better? Not only that, you also have the Ace of Swords. So it's all here except for the Ace of Wands, which um, is action, movement, but it is coming. They're at the King of Wands right now. They are, they're coming for you. So just be patient. Um, they are returning, I would say, in the next month with the two Aces here finishing up the reading. Okay. Your advice card out is the Eagle King. So the big picture, angelic help. So when this comes to you and you're reading as your advice, ask your angels, ask your angels for um, you to be able to see all sides of things because uh, it's hard for you to kind of understand what they're going through because to you, it should be cut and dry. It should be easy. Um, so the angels are coming in to help you see the big picture, to help see what is in store for you, um, to remain patient, that this can't happen overnight. It takes time to heal. It takes time to move forward in a healthy way. So you guys can have a healthy, balanced relationship. So um, your angels are here helping you. Ask them for help. Ask them for healing. Ask them for guidance. And ask them to show you the big picture. And your angels will be here to answer your call. So 
very beautiful reading, Pisces. I'm so happy for you guys. You guys have been through kind of some shitty um, relationship issues lately. and uh, But you're about to be well rewarded from the universe. Um, so many gifts are coming in for you. Um, and things are about to take a beautiful turn in the upswing. So I hope you guys have a beautiful um, first two weeks of December. I will see you next time. God bless.